Hello and welcome back to Plat That. Today we're going to have a look at my second platinum I ever earned, Broken Sword 5 The Serpent's Curse. Wow, what a game. I myself am a massive fan of point and click adventure games and I grew up playing the likes of the Monkey Island series, Full Throttle, the Broken Sword series and games similar to these. Talking of Monkey Island, we've had some incredible news recently that there is going to be a new Monkey Island game. Yes, that's right, my inner child stuck in this grown-up human has had his dreams answered and could not be any happier at this announcement. I finally get a return to Melee Island. I cannot express how long I have waited for this. By the looks of things, this game will continue where Monkey Island the Chuck Revenge concluded, the amusement park. I still have the PS3 versions of Monkey Island 1 and Monkey Island 2 to complete, so this might have to happen before this amazing release. The announcement came on the 1st of April and I for one thought this was some kind of sick April Fool's joke. Turns out that it's not the case, as it is actually happening. And there's now an official trailer and a release date for later on in this year. So let's get back to the task in hand, my second ever platinum trophy. Broken Sword 5 The Serpent's Curse. This is actually the fifth instalment of the series. I suppose that's easy to tell because it's actually stated in the title. We have had Broken Sword The Shadow of the Templars, which was released in 1996. A year later we had Broken Sword 2 The Smoking Mirror. After a six year break we had Broken Sword The Sleeping Dragon. Then another three years pass and we are graced with Broken Sword The Angel of Death. And finally, in 2013, we saw the release of Broken Sword 5 The Serpent's Curse. Shall we get this cabinet open then? Nico, I found an old clay pipe! The Broken Sword series follows the adventures and the conundrums that the main protagonist, an American patent lawyer, George Stobart, and a French freelance journalist, Nicole Nico Collard, get up to. The general plot of Broken Sword 5 The Serpent's Curse is George reunites with Nico in Paris while attending an opening exhibition hosted by gallery owner Henri Dubois. Shortly after the reunion, a pizza delivery driver turns up, steals the painting, Henri is killed as the driver escapes with the prize painting. This is where we now take control of George and Nico on our quest to find the missing priceless painting and discover the motive behind this robbery and murder. Broken Sword 5 The Serpent's Curse has a total of 34 trophies. This includes the Platinum Trophy, so this means a total of 33 trophies are required to unlock the Platinum. PSNProfiles.com has given Broken Sword 5 The Serpent's Curse a 2 out of 10 difficulty rating. This game is very linear and the only issue it may produce to the player is that you have to effectively solve puzzles to progress the story. Depending on skill level and thinking, this game could prove easier or more difficult for some players. A deeper look into the trophies shows there isn't anything too problematic in terms of difficulty, and I don't think I struggled with any. If I had to choose, I would say the collectible related trophies are a bit of a pain, as some of these are missable and would require a new playthrough of the game. There is a trophy list for both the PS4 and PS Vita version, however, these are not linked and the PS Vita version does not actually contain a platinum. I repeat, does not contain a platinum. So final thoughts is that I absolutely loved this game. Not only did it have a hilarious story and great writing for the characters, the nostalgic value was incredible. It transported me back to my childhood, playing the original series in my bedroom at my family home on the PC. I would definitely play this again to get the platinum trophy if I didn't already have it. And as I said at the start, this gets me in the right mood for the new Monkey Island game. I hope that the Broken Sword series has not come to an end and I hope that there will be an instalment in the not too distant future. This being my second platinum trophy ever earned makes me so happy for one main reason. It reignited memories of my childhood rushing home from school to see what adventures George and Nico took me on and allowed me to share with them. So there we have it, this brings this episode to an end. I hope you enjoyed it and I will be back soon with Platinum number 3. If anyone has any comments or would like to be involved in the podcast please do let me know. I can be found on Twitter under iHenPi. Drop me a message and I will happily respond. 
So once again, thank you for your time and I look forward to making episode 3 where I'll have a look at Hitman Go. Goodbye for now.